Nice ride. Thank you. Taking a video of it. Is it a Ferrari? Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. So this is the 370 that I drive. It is a 2009 six-speed manual touring sport. Let's go back to finishing Britney 2.0. In this box, oh my gosh. Um, sorry about that, youngster. I uh, I'm sorry about that. In this box, it says fragile, and I just threw. We have a very important, probably the final piece to my dream car over there. What well, you're thinking about what that is? Hold on, give me a second. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button, baby. My name is Danny. We got some pretty cool cars, some pretty cool builds. With that being said, let's open the box. You know what's crazy? I've had this in a box in my room for about four months. You gotta know what this is. <laughs> where's the other one? What the f Yo, where's the other one? What is that? Hey, buddy, buddy, I have a gift for you. I got the other light. I got a gift for you. But I know this makes sense right now. They're probably also confused, but just take it and continue on the video. Yeah. Here we go. See you later, buddy. Yep. Oh, what was that? Oh, this is sick. Oh, wow. Oh, the, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hold on, I know exactly what you're thinking. How do these lights look so freaking good and slick? I too was wondering about the design. So I talked to Matthew, the designer, and the guy who created them. I said, what made you do this design? He said, it's kind of something that's been based off OEM design as if it was modernized. Like after taking them apart, you can see the actual design that Nissan was probably shooting for. So I decided to try to bring it to life. Okay, so something really bad just happened. It's bad. And you may be wondering. Dang, was he able to fix it? Yeah, um, I forgot to connect the plug. I'm so sorry. Here I'm talking about getting kidnapped. I don't know why. No, like seriously. Actually, it's not a good idea to kidnap in general or kidnap people. Do not kidnap people. That's not, that's not good. So this little device right here is what's gonna let you go on your phone and connect to it in Bluetooth and then tell the lights what to do through the LEDs. Super weird, but that's like a very brief explanation. And the cool thing is, you can actually get these exact same lights with the link I'm gonna provide in the description. They are made by Autotune Customs. Support small businesses, especially if they're part of the Denny Z fam. And make things this freaking good. Here we got, here we got instruction manual in case I don't know what to do. Which I never do. I'm literally free balling all this, by the way. I really am. So I don't think I'm gonna be using this cable because if you look in here, I still have the old blue cable that connected to, the, to this tail light before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect the existing cable to this one so we don't have to take out the part, the interior, fish wires, any of that annoying stuff. Everything was going amazing, but it wouldn't be a Danny Z video if everything didn't go south. Um, the head of the bolt came off. Is that normal? Is that supposed to happen? I thought it was supposed to happen at first. I don't know what to do here. So like any other mechanic that knows his stuff, I go look up a YouTube video. It actually worked once <laughs> finally a YouTube video worked. I don't I don't think this is real life. I think this is fake. Look how excited I am. Was here. Ooh. Oh my god, dude, this is disgusting. We're gonna drill holes into here that are big enough for these uh, for this cable to go through. I could put the device outside and then not have to drill here, but I'm pretty sure this can't get wet. I need to put it inside.
It's really cool having the controller not inside the tail light or bundled behind is the film is gonna be much better. Everything is really simple because it's labeled. So negative is a negative, positive is a positive, which is how I was saying that we already got the cable right here. We got this long cable that says RH turn signal. So that obviously goes into here. And then we got plug A, plug C, plug B. These two cables are coming out of one side are actually outputs. So one has to go to one light and then the other one has to go to the other light. And then this one right here, which I'm guessing is an input, is going to the driver's side tail light. Yes, sir. Here's a dog. Her name's Akita. And we know what she wants you to do. She wants you to subscribe. There's actually a channel out there with over 100,000 subscribers and only one video. We've made about 500 videos and don't have 100,000 yet. Help me change that. That's the good hole right there. We like good holes. Holes, holes gotta be nice. That one's nice. Got the two plugaronis and then we got the negative right there probably gonna mount the little module somewhere in here not yet though i want to make sure the tail lights work first okay here's the thing we have connected everything everything should be good notice i said should be uh, my name is danny and i sometimes know things but in reality i most mostly don't okay once i start the car lights should turn on <laughs> Sorry for the bad audio, but there's something really cool about these lights, which you already know if you saw my last tail light reveal video. These are new lights, so I'm gonna show it again. It is super cool. It is, as you guys saw on the little device, so it said Ghost. You download the app. Then we decided to add very aggressive parts for the front bumper that we were missing. Carbon fiber front lip, here's a good little wash. Danny, you've done a lot to the car, you're probably done. Guess what? Nope. The biggest thing yet that we're doing to the car. Here we go. That's right, baby. Tire shine. Haha, <laughs> y'all thought? Nope. Not this. Nope. Oh, oh, okay. the daytime running lights which make the bumpers just look beautiful and very aesthetically pleasing and modern and supercar oh talking about supercar check this out oh he's broke it didn't I? oh my gosh i think he's broke it is it a ferrari huh oh that's a uh, it's actually a nissan oh, i was gonna say it's a 370z yeah Jesus. yeah just got it done finally they've been working on it for like a month now got some box in there, huh? yeah wow yeah, pretty happy with it. What type of horsepower you got? It, it's actually single turbo and it has uh, over 600. Yeah. I present to you Brittany 2.0. Okay, I'm gonna address it. I will address it. Every comment when I had my wing was take off the wing. I take off the wing now. Everybody wants me to put a, the wing back on. Here's the thing. I love the slick look of this car. We got the nice aggressive turbo in the back. We got the insane new tail lights. And then in the front, as you know, we got the carbon fiber on carbon fiber. Also, I'm thinking I will go ahead and wrap the fenders and then leave the carbon fiber vents. But like I said, I'm gonna enjoy the slick look for now. Same as the exposed carbon fiber look for now. Little cool Brit inlay. Normalize putting your car's name on your car. No one cares about your IG.
Kenny, where's the wing? That's why you can't please everybody. And that's why, for now, I'm gonna enjoy this because this is what I've been dreaming about for so freaking long. Also, do not worry, I will be doing a modless video along with the building a 370s in 10 minutes video. That should come either next week or later on this week. Oh my, look at this thing, look at this thing. I've been lying to everybody, this is actually not Britney. Like, this is her sister, Britannia. That was a bad joke. What do you guys think? Ah! Is the build over? Probably not. We're probably gonna be changing out the hood very soon to like another carbon fiber hood. We'll be adding the wing. We'll be wrapping a few stuff here and there. We're just gonna make, we're gonna make more horsepower. Me calling this Britney 2.0 is like, this is the beginning of Britney 2.0, if that makes any sense. But this is pretty much gonna be the overall look. This vampire Ferrari red, the gold two-piece Nismo style wheels from Corsa, the carbon, the turf ski, these amazing rear lights, the turf ski that's down there. The amazing part is that Danny from high school would see this 370Z and absolutely freak out and be like, yo, that's gonna be my dream 370Z one day. And well, buddy, this is your car. That's awesome. It's truly really amazing. Thank you guys. This wouldn't be possible without you. Like, honestly, I truly mean that. I know every YouTuber is like, thank you. No, like seriously, in a very serious note, I honestly don't think I would have ever pushed myself this hard if I didn't know there was so many amazing people watching and supporting and just rooting for me and that me by doing this will motivate motivates you a lot of you and pushes you to do the same and push yourself so it's a give and give relationship and I absolutely love it I love how the car turned out I'm gonna leave right now though I'm gonna stop wasting your time peace out if you haven't already hit that subscribe Britney 2.0 oh my god